So what the rabbits don't get, the chickens get. Come on. Lost to the snow, but just as good enough for chickens. Lost human food could become perfect, perfect chicken food. Peck, peck, peck. So I almost got an empty bed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go get us some peas, I guess lettuce and things, and we're gonna replant that bed. That bed is right outside of our door. We can come out, harvest from that. Kids can come out, don't have to worry about them going uh, in the back or anything like that. They can come right there and get the greens and things that they need. Uh, so today's episode, we're gonna do that. We're gonna replant some more snow peas. Check us out. What we're gonna do now, uh, let's just take out I was looking at some guy I can't remember who on YouTube and he was saying that what he liked to do is cut off his flowers or his vegetables or his greens or whatever he's growing right there at the root uh, line and leave this in the ground uh, I guess you can take it up if you want or leave it there and, and what he says over time those roots that are in there are going to decompose some of this stuff you can leave or you can compost it a lot of it though is really really getting old a lot of it's really dying off and I'm, I'm trying to let them stay as long as they want stick See, this one is still hardy. Uh, and some of them are still hardy, but some of them that have actually laid down uh, like these, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Uh, if you're still hardy, I'll leave it for now, especially right here on this middle. Cause I'm not, I don't really need the space right now until spring comes so whatever is still surviving I'm gonna let it survive I'll give that to something like this rabbits are gonna love that and they're gonna give you that rabbit manure so actually you just recycling this I had a when I came uh, to this property I said that I didn't want anything to leave my property. I wanted to bring my trash can out to the road as less as possible. Meaning, uh, when I was in the city, we, we cut down trees off the fence line, we cut down old trees, and we just packed everything to the road, and the garbage trucks came out and took everything. Out here, I don't wanna take my wood. If I cut some trees down, I wanna keep it. I want to reuse it. If I can reuse it for, the rabbit's gonna love me today. <laughs> I want to reuse it for timber. I'm working on a rocket stove. If you haven't seen that, check out my episode. Uh, we'll probably do that more so toward the spring. We'll do a rocket stove. Uh, show you some of the ways that we've learned how to build them with as less material as possible. Uh, also, I'm gonna be doing some more raised beds. I'm not gonna do the ones like this one. Our next raised beds are gonna be a combination of cinder block and wood. So you might like that as well. We're just taking out all these old stumps. If they're old and coming out like these, we're just going out and pull them out. I'm kind of on the edge about this. Uh, 
cutting them out at the root and letting the roots die off I'm wondering will that build bacteria in the soil or not but the guy on YouTube uh, he was like he's been doing it like that for a while and they're perfect So now we'll go and get some more seeds and we'll get to, get to play. is you can plant so much more uh, just by saving seeds and I still have I, I got decent seed savers exchange but if you look at the the peas that we had the snow peas uh, the salads that we we're able to put everywhere and also the kale uh, the Chinese cabbage as well all of those were saved seeds so we don't have to pay two dollars a plant uh, at a nursery when one plant let it go to seed and now you have thousands of seeds if not uh, hundreds of seeds and you can just throw them everywhere and if that's something you like always plant things that you like uh, plant things that you love because I love these red Russian kale uh, and, and those are something if I had a whole bed of that it wouldn't bother me so I don't have to worry about going to the store looking for kale I have it here that's one less thing I can cut out of the grocery bill and that's what we do with saving seeds save a whole bunch of seeds let your things go to seeds and now I have lettuce I don't go to the store for lettuce I don't go to the store for uh, onions or green onions things like that because we have pots of them grow seeds by growing your plants save your own seeds become your own nursery and that's ultimately the way to go self-sufficiency louisiana in a nutshell keep growing talk to you next time peace